What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening an extremely epic booster box. A Duelist Genesis booster box. You might be thinking, this looks a little bit different. What is different about this box? So, I'm gonna pop up on the side of the screen what an English, non-European box looks like. And you can compare it to this one. This one is much darker green. I believe that you say is on the North American print. It's just Stardust Dragon and it's dark green pretty weird. Before we get into that, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have Wind Rose, the Elemental Lord, Secret Rare Ancient Fairy Dragon from the Tin, and a Secret Rare Slide for the Sky Dragon. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about this box. Okay, so I was sent this box in from Casual Yugi Stuff. He said, so Ruxin, I present what we think is a very rare booster box that has raised some controversy in the Yu-Gi-Oh community about its legitimacy, so it might be fake, who knows? Some people think it's fake, as it has no Konami wrapping and the color is a bit off, as we talked about. Some people say it is a normal European box, as there is no Yusei on it, which is a European thing. I think they don't put the characters on there. But the real question is, why are they impossible to find? There's no official information on the web. I wanted to crack it open myself, but as there are not many left in existence to our knowledge, I wanted to make sure it reads the maximum audience. Wishing you all the best of luck with your pulls casual UV stuff. Okay, so he sent us this box to open up. We're going to find out, is it fake? Is it real? That's basically what the deal is here. So we're going to open it up and see. It could be fake, could be real. I really don't know. So we're going to test it out here. Let's check out the box first. Let's look at all the sides. We got the code there. I don't know if the code's any different. We got the ISBN, the EAN, a little bit of wear on this thing, but I don't know. It looks pretty, looks pretty real to me. I don't know. The color does look different, so I don't know what that's going to mean. We're about to find out. All right, let's get into this, guys. Let's cut this thing open. Let's see if it's real. Here we go. There it is. We cracked it. Let's see. Is this thing real? All right, so far, shrink wrap feels a little different. It feels a little different, but I think it feels fine for the most part. A little bit different, but it is European, so. Okay, here we go. We have Duelist Genesis. So far, these packs appear to be right okay normally european boxes are very wide so that's a see all that extra space right there that seems pretty normal for euro i've not that i've opened five d's i've only opened the newer stuff euro but let's go through these packs these packs appear to be good they appear to be real i mean i don't see anything sketchy going on here so now we go for the ultimate test the open test will the ratios be the same will we pull good cards you know will we pull real cards all that stuff european packs for sure so this is definitely Definitely European origin. We don't know necessarily that's real yet. Okay, these cards are looking pretty real right now. Looking pretty real. There's a Dark the Dark Charmer. 100% that's a real card. Small Piece Golem. Crebons. I mean, this is looking very legit so far. Cold Enchanter. Okay. Dr. Cranium. So, so far I'm thinking pretty good. I'm thinking pretty good. We haven't pulled a foil yet, but I'm thinking legit cards 100% right now. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Can we pull a ghost share and just, just solidify this thing is completely good. Tricky spell number four. We got Ganogo. Mind Master. So I think rares and hollows, right? I think we got confused about that before when we opened against, was it Yugimo? I can't remember. I can't remember. But I think that the, I think that there will be a hollow and a rare. There's the Equist Gear Town. Jung Barrage. And Noah's Ark. Okay. So, so far, just rares, but that's okay. Usually, there tends to be like eight or nine foils in a Duelist Genesis booster box or five D's box. So, we should hit one pretty soon here. Here we go. Judgment of Thunder. In these, you can get ultimate rares, secret rares, ghost rares, all that stuff. Synchro Deflector. Quillbolt Hedgehog. Big Piece Golem. And a Jute Fighter. So, we are 0 for 4. Recite. Remember the batteries, guys? Recycling batteries. Foil time, come on. Unlimited, and a reminder that you cannot get a first edition Duelist Genesis booster box. They don't exist. There's only first edition pre-release packs and from the tins. So they're pretty rare. These unlimited are the only booster boxes. There's an intercept with, uh, is that Ryza on the, on the uh, card artwork? Intercept. Activate only when a monster's tribute summoned with a tribute. Yep, definitely a monarch for sure. So... That is just to basically a monarch counter right there. That's cool. Okay, there's a super. So these are looking these are looking okay. Let's 
Can we get something big out of here? Duelist Genesis. We got a Crabons. Ganogo. Noisy Gnat. Beast of the Pharaoh. Oh. Rux and Special. Wouldn't be a video without a Rux and Special. And it's nothing. Nothing to pull right there. Here we go. Remote Revenge. Psychic Commander. Gear Town. Oyster Meister. Oh. Cold Enchanter. These, these European cards are more slick, so it's like even more likely to Rux and Special. Very difficult. Very difficult. They're really testing my abilities right now. Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna counteract this. We're gonna handle this. European cards. They think they can handle this, but they can't. Twin Shield Defender. We got a noisy gnat. Judgment of Thunder. Lightwave tuning. And a fighting spirit. Okay. Fighting spirit. Fine, fine, fine. Just one super rare so far. So we're still questioning is this thing, what's going on with this box? You know, I mean it's definitely real cards. We're not worried about that. We have pulled a super, so that's kind of good. But we have not pulled anything else. We got a Krebons. Telekinetic Shocker. Ooh, e Telly. Okay. Ultra Rare. I don't know what this is worth, Ultra Rare. But it's a nice card, that's for sure. Definitely a good one. Okay, e Telly. This is still, I think this is still worth like three bucks and was reprinted recently. Was this in Ghost from the Past? I think it might be. So this was definitely a good one. Ultra rare, very good. From the original set, this is the first printing. Psychic Rejuve. Okay, three more packs on this side. We have an ultra rare and we have a super rare. So there, the, this is looking very solid. I'm thinking that this is gonna be 100% legit. I'm not really too worried about it. I never pulled an e Telly. that was cool. Never pulled a Stardust Ulti or Ghost either, Gnogo. Psy Impulse. Dark Resonator. Light Swarm Barrier. And Space Gate. The Dark Resonator. Can we pull Stardust Dragon? Come on, guys. Even Ultra Rare would be amazing. All right, all right. Synchro Deflector. Here we go. Junk, junk Barrage. Dark the Dark Charmer. Nice card. And a Counselor Lily. I feel like we pull that every time. The Tricky. Mecha Bunny. And Psy Station. So we have a super rare Counselor Lily. Looks like Injection Fairy Lily as like a mom or something. Is it just me? <laughs> Is it just me? All right, final pack on the right side. Here we go. We've pulled three foils so far. I think you usually get like eight or nine. So we're pretty low so far. Will we get another one for this half? We have Telepathic Power. Judgment of Thunder. Equip Shot. Small Piece Golem. Ooh, a secret rare Cyber Shark. This is not the droid we're looking for. Look at that print line. That might be the worst print line I've ever seen. It's literally all the way across. It's not just the foil. Like, do you guys see that? Look at that print line. That is terrible. Oh my goodness. Well, the secrets aren't really that good in Duelist Genesis anyway, so this is not a bad one, I guess, to pull. We pulled this recently, didn't we? Cyber Shark? Yeah, when I opened, I think we pulled this for Junior. Is that right? Is that right? And that's when I was battling yu gi -Mo. I think that's what happened. Okay, yeah, that was in a battle. So I'm, it's coming back to me. We have now pulled four foils. Secret Rare, Cyber Shark with the absolute worst print line of all time. Okay. Oh, look, we got a little... We got an EN. Are this, is that on every pack? Maybe it's on every pack. Yeah, I think it's just gone away on that one. Okay. Yeah, that's usually on the European packs. Synchro Deflector. We've got the Oyster Meister. Quillbolt Hedgehog. Junk Bettish. Graceful Revival. Oh, we almost Rux and Specialed it, but we didn't. Okay, okay. So we could still get an ulti. We could still get a ghost. I don't think we're going to get two secrets, but it's possible. I, I don't remember how many ultras you get. You get one, maybe two. Hopefully two, so we can get the Stardust. Psychic Commander. Remote Revenge. Broken blocker. We got the uh, Garnet. Not Garnet. See it? Why did I sell that? Say that. Big shield Garnet. I don't know if you guys can hear that thunder, but it is very loud out there. It's a good thing we're not live streaming right now, or this the connection would be gone. Speaking of live streaming, I think you guys are seeing this the day after we open Force of the Breaker, or yeah, it should be the day after. So go check out that stream. I'm sure it was a great time. Haven't done it yet. Just recording right now. Orb of Yasaka. Oh, small piece golem. We didn't ruin it. And Ark of the Covenant. Not Ark of the Covenant. Yo, was Ark. Okay. Ark of the Covenant, Noah's Ark, you know, whatever. It's an Ark. Here we go. Next pack. Ghost Rare, here we go. Noisy Nap. We got the Beast of the Pharaoh. 
Gladiator Beast, a quest, a quest, a quest. Defense draw. Genesis the Light Sworn Mender. We got the Recycling Batteries. What a classic card. All right, let's pull out these. Let's pull out these packs. We have three, six, eight packs remaining. One third of the box. Man, these look really good. Stardust is a really cool monster. Come on, let's make it. Ulti Ghost Pull. Let's do this Jung Barrage. Go no go. Trap of Darkness. Destructotron. Psychic Snail. Seven packs. Seven remain. Here we go. Never pulled Ghost Stardust. Never pulled Ulti Stardust. We have pulled Ultra. Well, let's do it again. And let's pull the Ghost. <laughs> Dark the Dark Charmer. We got Remote Revenge. Twin Shield Defender. And King Kaboyo. I think this King Kaboyo guy's actually pretty decent. Because I, I remember being like, this guy's weird. And then he was like worth a few dollars. I think he might be. I could be wrong about that. But I know that that's... I have an inkling that that's a decent card. So that is how many foils now? Six, I think. So two or three more. Because we still need a an ulti. We don't necessarily get one every box, though, I don't think. We get a gear town. Shocker. Telepathic powers. And a graceful revival with the battle tuned. What in the world? That dude is strange looking. All right, five packs left. We're going to need some luck, guys. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, didn't work. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? The last two cards. Okay, that's weird. Back to back to end, to end that pack. That was very strange. Okay, on to the next pack after that very weird, just weird encounter. Light wave tuning. We got the synchro deflector. Tricky spell. Telepathic power. Here we go. Shield warrior. Okay, sort of Kusanagi. What is with this booster box? Okay, maybe. Oh, what is the deal with this booster box? It's uh, it's weird for sure. It's got some weird commons in a row. Okay. Last three packs. Pull something huge. Here we go. Psychic Commander, Psy Impulse, Stardust Dragon Ultra Rare, yes! Oh, that looks so good. Woo! Okay, that back is not. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of cloudy back there. That's that seems like a European thing. Like Retro Pack Two is a lot like that too. Okay, and that's a European set. All right, amazing, awesome Stardust Dragon. Pretty card, really pretty card. I love that. That's so cool. Stardust Dragon. Wow, okay. We pulled the Ultra. Double common. What in the world? There's something with this box. Just pulling double commons. All right, two more packs. I think we have a good chance at an ulti. We should have an ulti in here. Not should, but you have a good chance to get one in a box, I think. Orb of Yusaka. We got a Twin Shield Defender. Tricky Spell 4. Gladiator Beast. A quest. Made in a macabre. Done an infinite is a part of macabre. All right, last pack. Last chance at an ulti. Come on, give us an ulti. Please. Here we go. Like button for luck, guys. Here we go. For this weird, fake, whatever it is, Duelist Genesis. I don't know, it's not fake, obviously, but everybody thought it was. Beast of the Pharaoh. Light wave tuning. Here we go. Dark the Dark Charmer. Let's go. Like button for luck. Let's crush this thing. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it is. I thought it was on the next spot. Okay, War Chariot. Super rare. That's actually a pretty decent one. It's worth like a three bucks for a super, I think. Maybe a little bit less, but not bad. No ulti, though. Ah, oh, no ulti. That's okay. Pretty good box overall. Let's see, let's see what we got. All right, so from this uh, suspicious Duelist Genesis box, we got... One, two, three, four, five supers, not bad. Two really good ultras, like I almost said ultis. Very good ultras, so pretty nice. And then a secret rare, so no ulti. Let's see, so we got eight. Yeah, so I think you would, if you got an ultra or an ulti, you'd get nine. I think that's right. But overall, a pretty decent box. Thank you, Casual Yugi stuff, for sending it in. That was an amazing opening. I mean, that was cool to, to see this box. And it looks like we can prove that boxes like this are not fake. 
So if it's got this coloring to it, no uh, character on it, it's, it can still be legit because this one was definitely legit. Because I mean, it had Stardust Dragon in it, so that's pretty cool. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like the video and subscribe for more epic old school openings. We have a ton of them coming up. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs>